What's up? This is John from John Branch for Photography, and it's been about two weeks now since I did my unboxing of the bridge keyboard for the iPad Pro 11 inch. You can check that out up here if you're curious about what's in the box. But let's go ahead and talk about my thoughts on the bridge keyboard and if it's a worthwhile purchase. So if you're not familiar with bridge, they've been making keyboards for the iPad Pros for a couple of years now. Their stuff is really awesome, but I've never been too interested in it because the old iPad Pros had the home button and it just didn't look right to me. But now with the new iPad Pros without a home button, it is such a seamless experience and I cannot tell you how much it feels like a laptop. Even looking at it here, you can just see it's, it's just the iPad. You almost really, you cannot tell at all. You got the screen looking just like a laptop screen and the keyboard and it gives you a full, full MacBook feel. So the Bridge 11 inch is coming in about 150 bucks, which for me personally and the build of this thing is a way better deal than an Apple Folio keyboard, which I cannot stand. I literally hate that thing. I'm sorry guys, I, I can't. Those little circle keys, ugh, ugh. But this thing is made out of full aluminum. It has a 12 month battery life and the keys feel really good. Honestly, even compared to Apple's newer MacBooks, I like these keys way better because those flat, wonky keyboard, I don't, I can't, I don't know what Apple's doing with the keyboards right now. I can't stand it. But these are gonna give you an old school MacBook feel. The keys have a nice click to them. It really feels good to type on. Also, the keys are backlit. One thing about the backlighting that was a little different for me, which makes more sense after I used it, but the backlighting is only attached to the keyboard itself. I thought it was gonna be more like how the MacBooks, you know, the backlight would turn on when you started typing. For this, it just turns on when you turn it on and you have to turn it off yourself or it'll turn off once the keyboard goes to sleep. The hinges are super, super extra sturdy. I know that's one thing everyone's been asking about. Does the hinges wobble all over the place and how does it fit in with the iPad? And it's been fine for me. The hinges feel just right as far as their sturdiness and how they hold up the iPad. I've never had any problems with the iPad sliding back or falling backwards. You can see here I'm even shaking it around and it really doesn't fall until I give it a good jerk and then it'll fall back. Also the rubber inside the hinges protects your iPad when you put it on and yes, you can use a screen protector with this and it's not gonna get in the way of your screen protector. When I first started using it, it was really tight so it was hard getting the iPad in and out but now that it's been about two, almost three weeks, it's a little bit easier, but it still has a nice grip on it. So there's no issues for me getting it in or out or feeling like my iPad's gonna slip out of the hinges or the hinges are gonna damage the iPad at all. As far as the keys feeling small at all, on the 11 inch, it is a little small. You do have to get used to it, but it's not too bad. It doesn't feel wrong. And for anyone who 10 finger types or honestly chicken pecks, you'll get used to it pretty quickly. It took me about the first week of really using it to get into it, but after that, now I can just open it up and start typing and it's, it's a great experience. Also, one big thing I love about the keyboard is it doesn't add a lot of thickness to the iPad. You'll see here, it's really not that thick. I think on their website, they're saying it makes it a total of 15 millimeters, so it's also not that heavy. I didn't get a chance to weigh it, but I know in my unboxing video, I said it is heavy, but what I meant by that is that it feels sturdy like I know this is a worth 150 bucks product so altogether it's definitely a little bit lighter than a laptop would be it's nothing like crazy heavy but it definitely feels like, like yeah I got a keyboard and it makes your whole iPad overall feel straight up like a laptop as far as everyday uses for the bridge keyboard I found it to be a true joy I at this point was already talking about not needing a laptop but with this thing, I feel like I have a laptop and I really just could care less to have a laptop. The keys feel good. Typing on it is great. It's not a problem at all. Also, if you know how to use your iPad, you can use key commands. There's also a row of function keys on the top. So you can lock your screen. You can turn up and down the volume. You can turn up and down the brightness. You have a home button on the top as well. So you can get in and out. There's also a Siri button, which I don't really use Siri, so I'm not a fan of. And actually, comparative to my old school Apple keyboard, in the bottom left, that keyboard had a function key, and that used to actually bring up my emojis. So I liked that better, but that's like the smallest thing. It's not really a gripe. Most people probably don't even know about that. 
but I would have liked a different option than Siri on the keyboard. But that's just me personally, because I don't use Siri. But yeah, when you're using this thing, make sure you use your key commands. A lot of people have big gripes. They're like, oh, the iPad, you can't use a mouse on. But honestly, if you have the key commands, going up to touch the screen to move some stuff a little bit and then using your key commands to navigate is honestly just about as good as a mouse or almost better. And yes, I've been using computers for a long time and I do prefer a mouse, but I actually like key commands and small swipes and taps. It's not that bad. And I could go on forever. This is a review about the bridge keyboard, but you know, it's not that big of a deal if it's not a straight up computer. So don't come in my comments being like, hey, it's not the same as a computer. It's just about as good as a different usage. <laughs> so the bridge keyboard also advertises different modes that you can use it in. You have a tablet mode and kind of a viewing mode. So personally, I found myself not really using those. I just used it as a laptop and it made more sense for me. The one thing I don't like about the tablet mode one off is that it's a little heavy. I do a lot of reading on my iPad and holding it in one hand with the bridge keyboard on it is it's a little bit too heavy for that in my opinion. I like just the weight of the iPad by itself. Also you have to take off the little back leather cover that they give you to even be able to use the tablet mode. So for me it's a little bit inconvenient because you have to take off the back, take out the iPad, flip it around, put it back in and then close it. So it's something that I would say if you're using it in tablet mode very often and you need to keep the keyboard with you it might be nice but for me personally it makes more sense to just take the iPad out and use it like that with the leather on the back of it and then pop it back in. The viewing mode is pretty cool too but like I said since I mainly used it as a laptop I just didn't take the time to take it out and flip it back around but what I do appreciate is that they have those options so other iPad keyboards don't really have those options built into it. So that's the really cool thing about the bridge is depending on who you are and how you want to use it, you have a different range of what you can do. So it's not going to be the same for every person where it's like, it can only move like this and like that. And that's about it. You know what I mean? So the overall verdict on this keyboard case is if you want something that feels much more like a laptop that you can type on easier than that nasty Apple keyboard folio, something that feels really good and you could type on for a long time, definitely, definitely get yourself a bridge keyboard. They are so, so good and this is not sponsored. So this is just my opinion. I bought this with my own money. I love this thing and I'm gonna use it all the time. It is just absolutely amazing. And you can still put your little Apple pencil on the top and use that whenever you need to. So if you're looking for a way to get away from a laptop and just use an iPad, I believe this is definitely the final piece that you need. One thing I didn't talk about is the 12.9 version, I'm sure it feels straight up like a normal keyboard. It almost makes me want to go buy a 12.9 iPad just so I can have that full experience. So if anyone's looking for the 12.9 one, definitely get that as well. Um, I might have to see, I have a friend who has one, so I might ask him if I can just take a look at it and see what it's like. So yeah, definitely check out the Bridge keyboard. You can go to www.bridge.com to check it out, purchase it, pre-order it, or whatever they're doing now. I'm not sure what the shipping looks like, but definitely, definitely get one if you're looking to get rid of your laptop. If you have any questions about the Bridge, leave them in the comments. And if you have one, let me know what your experience has been like. I hope this review helps you out and gives you any ideas of what you wanna do with a keyboard case for your iPad Pro. And maybe I'll do a versus one and get a different keyboard case because I heard that another company has a pretty dope one as well. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe for the channel for more iPad stuff as well as creative entrepreneur stuff. And I'll be with y'all next time. All right, peace.